Hello, Bob Barrigo here. Just want to give you some live notes on what I've what I'm uh, starting to accomplish here. Um, I toned or put a base coat on my canvas uh, using acrylic paint, liquid acrylics, and um, it's a little different way to start out. It's certainly not original, but uh, putting a brilliant background like this has a tendency to give the appearance of a, a glowing effect on the, on the work, uh, which is, and can be quite, kind of nice. Um, starting to fill in all the pieces, I did some sketching with, a, with charcoal first to do the layout on this piece. This piece is uh, 36 inches by 48 inches. Another woodland scene, and i um, going to introduce some water in the scene as well. Uh, filling in some of the places again this is uh, this is oil um, it's a fairly complicated uh, composition there, there's a lot going on uh, there's a lot of, of vertical direction in this because of the trees uh, there's also uh, uh, water coming from the background into the foreground and um, It takes a bit of planning to work this out. I'm working from photographic uh, uh, reference, but um, nevertheless, I, I have changed some elements and moved some things around um, just to make it make it work better, a little bit more balanced composition. So I hope I've succeeded. Uh, I'm illustrating some uh, some moss on the rocks, some uh, things that are facing north that are going to have uh, natural. Uh, moss on them. Uh, there's several different types of rocks, colors, and uh, which is what we find in, in the wilderness. Mixing some brilliant blue and cadmium yellow medium here to make a nice green. To that I will add uh, sometimes a little, uh, a little burnt umber to deaden it down a little bit, make it a little bit more natural. I'm also adding something called um, something called liquid liquid impasto okay it's an additive that's like a gel and it makes the paint thicker uh, doesn't uh, doesn't really uh, thin the paint out that much um, helps the, the paint to dry so I can keep working at the pace I want to and um, the impasto adds body though uh, which is what I want doing some of the finishing touches. I've, I'm painting over the undercoating here, or the base painting. Just thickening up some of the paint, giving it some texture. <clears throat> so that's about it. I hope it's been an informative. Um, I'm decided uh, pretty much that I'm going to be doing creation videos for for most of my paintings, at least of the ones coming up soon. And um, I hope they're informative. I hope you're enjoying them. Uh, maybe maybe we're all learning something together. Um, but I would certainly like it to be an encouragement for anybody who's interested in painting, interested in art. Uh, there's no time like the present to get started on something. And, um, and hopefully this will encourage you. Uh, this painting is called um, Eastern Hemlock Creek and um, I'll give you a view of it finished here. Um, anyone who wants to get in touch with me can get in touch with me by email. My email is, is my name Bob Arrigo at rogers.com. Always available. So till next time, thanks for watching. Bye now.